All right guys, it's Kyle down here at LunaCycle. Today I'm gonna to show you how to update the firmware on your M600 using the Vest Tool app. Um, we already have one video on this, but I'm gonna show you a different way to update the firmware. Um, so the first thing you wanna do is download the app. We have a link in the description where you can download it. It's lunacycle.com slash update. So once you've downloaded the app, you wanna go ahead and open it up. Um, it'll automatically scan for the controller if your bike is on. You're going to want to go ahead and hit connect. Now if this is the first time you've opened the app and the first time you try to connect it, you may get a prompt which suggests that you update the firmware. Um, I'm going to suggest you don't update the firmware immediately. Um, and the reason for that is when we submit new firmwares to the App Store, it can take a while for them to update the files that are attached to the app. So the firmware that's on your bike may be more modern than what's currently available through the app. Um, there is another way to update the firmware, which could be a more modern firmware. Um, the first thing you would want to do is swipe over and this is on Android and on iOS. You would swipe over until you get over to this firmware tab. Now, before you update any firmwares, the first thing you have to do is delete the bootloader. Um, you would scroll up to the bootloader tab. Um, it's gonna automatically select generic. And both of these upload buttons do the same thing. Just hit upload and then it's gonna erase the bootloader, upload a new bootloader. For some reason, you need to do this every time you update firmware. Now, if you keep scrolling down, you will find an archive of all the firmwares that we have for this. But like I said, it does take a while for the App Store to update these, so your bike may have a more modern firmware. And we will have links to more modern firmwares to where you won't have to wait for them to be added to the app. Um, you can get those through the forums or email or whatnot. So if you get a file from us and you want to add it and it's not one that's in the archives and not one that's attached to the app itself, you would download it to your phone um, and then you need to select that file from this custom file tab. So choose file. I have a bunch of M600 firmwares here. I'm gonna select the one that you want to upload and then hit upload. Now, I'm gonna fast forward through the uploading of this because it does take a couple minutes. Um, you wanna hit okay. And then right when it gets to the end, there's gonna be a warning that says, don't unplug or power off the controller. It can actually cause some real damage to your controller. So once it gets to 100%, you don't wanna touch anything for 10 to 15 seconds. Um, the whole controller is gonna shut off and then it will be okay to turn it back on. Um, another thing, you don't want it to go to sleep during this process. So go ahead and just press the up down a couple times for the pedal assist and that'll keep this from going to sleep. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this upload and I'll show you what to do once it's finished uploading. A few moments later. All right, now that we're getting to 100%, you wanna go ahead and let this warning show up. You're gonna see error 30 on the display and then the display will power off. So just don't touch anything. Go ahead and let it shut off like that and let it sit for a second. And it is okay to power it back up. All right, now when you power it up, it has erased all the encoder settings, so you will get error eight. So now you have to reconnect to the controller and calibrate the encoder. So it's gonna tell us right here, offset calibration required. You're gonna swipe over to the offset correction. This is under the bike config tab. Go ahead and hit okay. Now. Before you hit OK, you do want to remove the chain or lift the rear wheel up in the air. Um, you want the motor to spin freely. It's not going to spin fast. It's just going to basically shake a little bit, but you don't want any resistance on the chain ring. 
go ahead and hit, hit OK. I'm going to rotate a very small amount. And when it's done, it will give you a number right here. All right, so that's your offset. Now you're not done yet. You do need to hit right and you'll see configuration updated, app configuration right, okay. Now you do need to cycle the power one more time. So turn your bike off and then back on. If you still have the app open, it should reconnect automatically. And you successfully updated the firmware on your Luna M600 controller.